Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pocket King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I actually want to talk to you guys about NBA 2K14 Cruise. Now, this is the return of the highly anticipated crew mode from NBA 2K10 and 2K11. Now, as it goes, there's been an article that came out recently. I know I should have did this video before, but I just had to get my thoughts together because I didn't want to make a rant video. Because when I make rant videos, they kind of go way out there. So um, I kind of got my facts straight. And this is what I want to say. We have found out that, of course, with Cruise, you can use your My Player. You can compete in five on five pickup games with nine other humans online, which means in a five on five, you may have to only play against five other people. Now, if you don't have five, you may be able to play in a 3v3 option as well. So my question to 2K is, since this is so, you know, I guess I guess you could say they, they're not putting out as much information as they should when it comes to this mode. So in a 5 on 5 pickup, is there a reason why you can't use CPUs to fill in your roster in case you don't have five? Or is that to, you know, complement the 3v3 option, whereas though if a person doesn't have enough players, they can just, you know, game with three people. So, cool. Um, the next thing, I have heard that they have season mode and playoff mode. Now, of course, they haven't dropped any info on that as well. So, for seasons mode, how many games does it take to play through a season is it going to be a full 82 games is it going to be you know 32 16 8 what's going to take place in the season mode or is your team going to have like you know different stats where you know they can go to nba.com and look at what all the teams are doing instead of just having this one little oh this is what your team is doing this is how many wins you guys have this is how many losses you guys have and that's that are they going to be able to look around the league? Like, so, say a crew named Elgato is playing up against another crew like, let's see. Hmm. HDPVR, for instance. And, you know, my crew, of course, is going to be named. I'm not going to tell y'all, but y'all find out later. Say my crew is just sitting back relaxing and these other crews are getting in a season game. Will we be able to see what's going on like in live game scoring or even after the game? Are we going to be able to see stats on who's their hot guy? Like, you know, what gamer is the best on their squad? What type of my player he has and all of that? Are we going to be able to see that? Because you are talking about a season here. You are talking about stats that have to be accumulated and factored in. So I don't know. Now, as for playoff modes, okay, everybody remembers when my team came on the scene, right? And they had some called Road to the Playoffs, and you would play a certain amount of games until you advance. Is Cruz going to be stripped down to the basics like my team was for 2K13? Or will playoff mode be something where after the season is over, whatever you know four to eight teams advance will they play each other for some type of you know vc reward championship or anything like that some type something you know something cyber you know a cyber prize or something like that or you know with the playoff mode and you just get up get your tiers up and stuff like that and you earn what are you going to earn from you know getting through different tiers if playoffs mode is like my team because in my team you got a player every time you advance. You know, you got a nice little pack opening. You had, you, everybody knew what player you were going to get. But with Cruz, what could you get? Um, could you get a new blacktop court? Or could you get a new player, I don't know, signature skill? What, what can you get out of that? What's what's the, you know, reward of actually advancing? So um, my next thing I want to say uh, they have full leaderboards and, you know, stat tracking for, I guess, whatever uh, mode, as in if you play up against other people online and rank for the crews. So that's going to be kind of cool. But I hope that that's poured over into the season and playoff mode. Um, they say that you can earn VC for participating in the online matchups, just like you do with the offline games. Now, for me... 
What does it mean for earning online to offline? Is there a better reward for playing online than it is offline? Because, you know, if you play an offline game of, you know, like, association or something, you get, like, what, like, 750 VC? And when you played Blacktop last year in NBA 2K13, you only got, like, what, 150 to 250 or something like that? I, I can't remember. I haven't played Blacktop in I don't know how long. So, my thing is, is there a higher reward for playing online than it is offline? And... Since you guys have, you know, this little offline and online matchup or, you know, comparison, will you be able to play other crews that you play online offline towards where the stats won't count, but you still earn VC? Or will you have some type of practice mode where your team can practice, uh, scrimmage up against other guys and, you know, stuff like that? Because the main thing about crews is we want to play our friends we don't just want to go out there and play a whole bunch of ranked games and you know play all these randoms we actually want to lab with other friends and say yo we got the bragging rights on you bro we beat y'all behind last week so you know we kind of want that as well now the last thing on my list that i want to talk to you guys about is arenas now from from what is what what stands is Crews will have custom jerseys. You'll have 3v3 versus 5v5. You'll have full leaderboards. Now they're gonna say now they say they have stat tracking. You're gonna earn VC. You have season and playoff moves. But why don't they speak on the arenas to blacktop ratio? What like how far are they from saying we have arenas? And how far are they from saying, you know what, we're just going to keep it blacktop. We would like to know where you guys stand, 2K. What's going to happen in the, in the re, what, what we have like about two weeks left until the game drops. And you guys still haven't announced that arenas will be officially in NBA 2K14 crews. Or, you know what, we have a pack of 10 to 15 blacktop courts, fully customizable and all of that. You guys have to shed some light on this because all you're doing for current gen is having everybody think okay this is nba 2k 13 2.0 whereas though this is what nba 2k 13 should have been and then with next gen it's a total mystery so my main thing is you guys have to keep us in a loop we know that you know it's a marketing strategy and you guys got to hype up the game but in order to get these pre-orders rolling in in order to get all of that down and you know to get these sales up you have to let all the core fans of crews my team association online my career my player my player black top you have to let all the fans know something very soon i haven't seen one dev insight you know a fit i mean official dev insight not no you know you got zach standing in front of the camera talking about six skills or the the stats incorporated i'm talking about actual dev insights now i know you guys are very busy with wwe as well the bureau all of that y'all doing so much but please y'all gotta get y'all gotta get on the ball maybe next gen holds something different i'm not totally sure you guys but that's my thoughts on you know what cruise is right now and um, I guess I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I'm going to holla at y'all later. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.